Hello, I present Trek Excalibur 9 from 2015 in size large. 9 was the highest available version of Excalibur and 9 years ago cost 1000 euro. This bike, despite high price, had hard life, so it looks how it looks. Fortunately, from time to time it had some small service, so it's actually in quite good technical condition. And in a moment I will show you how at a low cost you can change the appearance and condition of bike from terrible to quite decent. If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. At the beginning, I will definitely have to deal with things like faded handlebar, damaged shifter, worn out grips, cracked old saddle with unused mounts, and remove broken cables, ugly and unnecessary tapes, reflective straps, stickers, and other crap that make the bike looks bad. As usual in track, price of the bike does not translate into its equipment, so this top version includes one of the basic Shimano brakes, steel RockShox XC32 fork, fortunately with air spring, 2x10 drivetrain with Dior shifters, XT derailleur, and two-piece race face cranks. Of course, parts like handlebar, stem, seat post, saddle, wheels are Trek's own production under Bontrager brand. And here, at least I found one nice surprise, because hubs spins on cartridge bearings. And bike in this configuration weighs over 13.5 kilograms. Links to parts which I used you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. I installed new zoom handlebar, wake stem with high rise, very soft and light Odilong neck grips, so now Trex looks better and it's more comfortable to ride. I also replaced saddle with the same one, but in better condition, and I added zoom seat post to match the rest of the parts. I installed SLX derailleur with a clutch, so chain will be quieter, and thanks to this I could change the drivetrain to 1x10 with my favorite narrow white decas chainwing. I also replaced pedals with very light VP537 and I did something unforgivable. I replaced all tires with fast tracks from Specialized Rock Hopper, so direct competition of Xcalibur. Now with Loud Pro X Bell and Topic adjustable water bottle cage, bike is ready for city rides as well as for longer trips to the forest. After these changes, Xcalibur lost almost 1 kg and I think it's an interesting bike that still holds its price quite well because Trek has many admirers who consider it as a premium brand, which of course, it's not. As for 9 years old bike, it rides ok and if someone will take care of it, it will definitely last another 9. Especially that cost of these modifications, after selling all parts, is just 50 euros. So I guess it was worth it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!